and welcome back to Ride Rescue. In this episode, I am hoping I can get these windows back together. The windows were binding up and they were getting really hard to roll up and down. You had to really force them to get them back up. Uh, pretty good chance something was going to break the way it was binding up. I thought maybe there was some broken parts, but when I pulled all these out in an earlier episode, all the pieces were great. They just had so much grime and grit built up on the little plastic wheels and on the tracks that everything was just catching and dragging. So in this episode, I'm hoping I can get all that cleaned off without having to sandblast it off. Uh, the tracks are uh, galvanized, so I don't want to ruin that galvanizing because then they'll rust. I don't want to paint them because the paint will wear off. So hopefully, get these all cleaned up and get them all back in. Since nothing was broken, really what it comes down to is, is this old grease has gotten dirt in it and it's gotten really sticky. What I'm going to attempt doing is I got some uh, WD-40. Uh, the can lost pressure so I put it in a little pump. But I'm just going to soak all that old grease and WD-40, and I started doing it on this other piece, and then I can take a little piece of, of Scotch-Brite, and it just loosens right up. And where there's a little bit of grit, and a little bit of rust, the Scotch-Brite also cleans up, too. Works really good. I'm, I'm impressed with how quickly it loosened everything up. I'll do the same thing with the little wheels on the windows and then also with the cranks and the tracks. These are all really gummed up too. So I'll get all that loose and clean these up. Well, that's pretty amazing. You can see this piece cleaned up pretty good, but it probably took me a half an hour. It's like 15 coats of paint, but it's just dried grease. It doesn't come off very easy. I have to sit and scrape off. Like I say, it's like painted on. I've never seen anything like it, but I guess when the old grease becomes 50 years old, it's just turns to stone. It's crazy. It's like varnish. You just have a little screwdriver and just keep scraping and digging away. sandblast this off or media blast it off but this is galvanized and I would really hate to damage the galvanizing then they just rust let's see what we can do with these now do the same thing just loosen up all that old grain grease Turned to stone. Seems to be coming off the wheels pretty easily. That's good. I'll let that soak. And I'll do the same thing with this one. And then I'll also grab the glass and soak the wheels on the glass too. These these wheels are covered with petrified grease as well. I just have to slowly work it off and scrape it away. It comes off the plastic rollers pretty easy, unlike the, the galvanized metal. You have to work out a little bit. It's, 
I wanted this. Windows didn't want to go up and down very easy. Like this, this track is for the wheel of the crank. And that is really hard as well. Test it out. Oh, that feels real good. That's smooth. And this is pretty much dry too, so once I get a little film of grease on there and on these wheels, it does have a little bit of looseness to it, but Almost looks like that's the way it's designed to be. I guess we won't know till we try it out. In order to get these to clear everything, I have to screw them all the way in. Now I can feed the glass down in. was easy. I'll have to adjust these screws until the glass is up against its felt. Get out against that felt. Feels about right. Put a couple nuts on it. Hold it in place while I adjust the bottom. Thank you. 
feels about right. So the bottom is adjusting the pressure on the top of the glass. And then these are the pressure against the felt. Everything is adjusted properly. It's just a matter of getting my crank in there and setting how high that crank pushes it up. Wow, that's nice. That is so smooth. What a difference. Okay, let's check the height. It's going just a little too far. The glass is hitting the chrome first before it's actually setting in where it's supposed to be. So I need to adjust that down just a hair. Perfect. Excellent.